introduced in 1985 as a multimedia franchise including toys, a TV show, music videos, cassette tapes and VHS. Jam and the Holograms did not live up to expectations set by the toy manufacturing company Hasbro. Before kids were even introduced to the fashion doll herself in 1986, Barbie and the Rockers made Hasbro's plans come to a screeching halt. It was a big gamble to take on the fashion doll behemoth Mattel, a risk that ultimately did not pay off. It was the year 1988. After a two year long struggle to gain market share and multiple doll lines announced in Toy Fair catalogs that never hit shelves, Hasbro made a decision to silently discontinue the out of this world glamorous neon rocker jam in favor of a wholesome all American high school suit. and accessories sold separately. Making waves, Maxi and looking smart, Maxi eat so separately. While fashion dolls depicting teenagers were nothing new, Mattel's very own star doll comes to mind. Maxi came out at a time when the media's obsession with the 16 year olds going to school had hit an all time peak. Teens were watching Pretty in Pink and The Breakfast Club, listened to Tiffany or Debbie Gibson and read Tiger Beat magazine. Themes of adolescence were all the rage and marketing products towards older children to young teens was lucrative. As far as fashion dolls catered towards that specific demographic go, there was a void left to fill. Hasbro seemed to think that Barbie had outgrown some of the potential market among young girls. Barbie was seen as older, a yuppie if you will, said one of Hasbro's public relations agents. They felt there was a real need in the market for dolls that were younger than her. Maxie was a high school student who did the type of things girls would be imagining doing. She was conceived as a blonde haired, blue eyed, all American teenager with a pure, clean, wholesome look. Now when it came to investing in their new product, Hasbro went all in. The promotional campaign to advertise the doll cost a humongous $7 million, an estimated 70% of the total marketing budget Hasbro had at their disposal in 1988 to spend on all of their products. The budget went into the production of the animated TV series Maxis World, television ads starring actress Brooke Thighs as the real-life Maxie, as well as an accompanying tour that took her across shopping malls in the United States to promote the doll. Thighs, who is most famous for appearing in Nightmare on Elm Street 4 The Dream Master, had to wear a brunette wig while making the film, as she was contractually obliged to not make any permanent changes in her appearance while fulfilling her promotional duties as Maxie. Seven million dollars sounds steep but it also shows how big the toy industry was at the time and how much potential money there was to make that it was a sum worth investing into a new doll. Now when it comes to the doll herself, Maxi was using the same body as the Jam dolls. I for one never had a Maxi doll because she was never released in Europe, but I would have loved to have one, especially one in box. Even though I'm not an in-box collector, I love the way the box looks. It's so very 80s. It's almost like a cliche of the 80s. Side ponytail, big shoulders. It's like what people from the 2000s thought the 80s looked like. A similar thing can be said about the commercials as well. That's why I'm so fascinated by Maxi. I just love the little glimpse into the 80s. Meet Teen Looks Mattel hit back with the introduction of Teen Looks Jazzy a pointed attempt to mimic Maxi's success. Even Derek, who was introduced as part of Bobby and the Rockers, made his only and last reappearance as dude in this line. Almost as if Mattel was sending a message to Hasbro, taunting them, telling them we did it once and we'll do it again. Did you have a Maxi doll? 
We're disappointed that Hasbro discontinued Gem in favor of Maxi. This video has been a lot of fun to make. I would love to make some future videos as part of this Fashion Hour flashback series. I think it's important to conserve some of that Fashion Hour history before it completely disappears. Subscribe for updates on future content. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and please comment down below. And I will see you in the next one.